And now, your weather authority, Ron Young. Certified the most accurate forecast in the Arklatex. Welcome back, everybody. You know, it's been a long time since I have worked wintry weather, but I remember it, and I didn't like it, <laughs> especially when you're talking ice instead of snow. That can be extremely treacherous anywhere there is. Right now, you're looking at Texarkana New Holland Skycam in Texarkana, right at the corner of Summerhill Road and Kennedy Lane, and picking up some sunshine there, the Fine Arts Center our performance center there at Texas High School as well. No mostly clear skies, nice little sunset coming up, but it has been a cold and this morning blustery day with all the clouds. Let me tell you, it was cold out there. High temperatures for the day, and this occurred around midnight last night. In the 60s, from the low 60s north to near 70 south, yesterday was unusually warm. What? a change we have had today. As far as wind speeds right now, we're 10, 12 miles an hour, but a steady wind right now in Magnolia, Arkansas, still up 23 miles per hour. So five to 10, 11, 12 miles an hour wind speeds. What does that make it feel like to you? Feels more like 29 degrees as we go into Texarkana and Dequeen. Feels like 37 in Shreveport with 35, the feel like temperature as we go into the Marshall area. Feels more like 40 degrees as you head down to Natchitoches. So that wind does make a difference. Feels like 29 with that highest wind speed right now in Magnolia, Arkansas. We do have a wind advisory now in effect until six o'clock this evening. Then it dies down somewhat but it's still going to be a chilly night across the area. Your Robert's Toyota Futurecast. Tomorrow morning, we're going to see some moisture coming into the area. And up to the northwest, you see our first attempt at a system moving into the area and through the area. And behind this system, very gusty north-northwest winds. It is going to be a big chill, that's for sure. High pressure will build in, and that will continue with a north-northeast wind across the area. In addition, we're going to see some clouds begin to develop as well. Moisture will have a chance to increase, and we're going to see some clouds moving in. This is your Sunday at 7 p.m. As we go on from 7 p.m. to around midnight, we start to see some mixed precipitation in the I-30 corridor and a little bit of maybe starting out as rain southwest, but that quickly turns into a mixed precipitation. And if there's anybody that's going to get all snow, it would be north of Interstate 30. But we're going to have to watch it closely. Whatever we get is going to be wintry, that's for sure. And take a look at this Monday, 7 a.m., widespread Yes, possible sleet and freezing rain. And I'm thinking freezing rain may be the biggest culprit. And you know what goes along with that? Power, frozen water, bad streets, no travel. You got that right. And here we go, all the way into Monday, 5 p.m. And maybe this starts to make an end to that. As far as the ice potential, we could be looking nine one hundredths of an inch and two tenths of an inch, two tenths of an inch, another there, thirteen hundredths, only two one hundredths to the north. This could be even a tenth of an inch on a road can be very dangerous. So here's the seven day forecast starting out oh, tomorrow. 28 the low, but we're going to go 30 degrees higher for the afternoon high temperature with a south southwest wind, a little gusty. 26 and 40 on your Sunday, 20% chance late day into the nighttime hours. We could see, yes, the freezing and frozen precipitation moving in. A good 40% chance, a 50% chance of mixed precip. Your Monday is going to be a weather ready day. High only around 30, 15 and 29, 12 and 42, 28 and 50, we start to warm back up, but then we drop back down to 26 and 40. But it's Monday that we're gonna be watching closely as well as Sunday night. We'll be right back. <music> 